Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Civilization 5 Gods and Kings <laughs> And um It isn't Gods and Kings is it? No what? They already got cannons Please say that's chari it's chariots Yes sorry It is Brave New World So we have even more stuff that should have been in the base game But they took out Actually no Trade routes is something that is actually I would say Properly new and so is tourism They're actually I would say they're actually features and not, um, well, new features. Unlike when religion, for instance, that's something they took out. And I still don't think that diplomacy slash spying um, is in, in a very interesting way. I really do feel that they could do more with that. But then again, it wasn't all that good last time. But having the actual unit on the ground... That had to go to a city and then commit an action. I thought that was good. No, 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 no. Didn't mean to move you into him. I'm just trying to get this thing off the screen. Now we are now rushing to printing press. Which is the sort of area we was beelining until we beelined in another direction. And we'll bring the swordsman back into the city. Because he should have been there to kill him this turn, but no, instead, I accidentally ran him the wrong way. Oh, cool. We've got our second silver back up. Gold is so much better. If I remember rightly, gold gets you um, more gold than silver does. Uh, build a farm down here, and then you can build another one over there. There's still stuff for you to do. Swordsman, yeah, come out of the city. Face, to, face him off. Hopefully he'll be dumb enough to attack you. Oh, wait. He's an Axeman guy. He's a range unit. So it doesn't matter that you know, he's going to attack you now and you're not going to get any bonus from it. I guess he's going to be less likely to be able to run away from you. Uh, next turn, but don't think Zona Control is going to affect him. I think you can run away without Zona Controls getting you. Columbo, the bald guy, seeks investors to start... A private detective service. Hello, Bucharest. You have wine. Why do you have wine? Good, we can get round there. Thank you. Um, one, two, three. Build some mines upon this hill. Oh. Go away. Well, not on the main screen anyway. Let's see. Where are you doing? You can build on that hill because that's actually going to do something for us. And you... Kill him! Don't let him take away my horses! My... Horses? Uh, elephants! I really do think you should be able to ride elephants in this game. And where are you going? Down here. You want to be back here, because that's what I was trying to do beforehand, before you ran away. Let's go next turn. Um, let's see. You... Aliases. I remember who you are. Um, build a farm. Too much happiness. We need to build more cities. Next turn. Are Milan and Portugal now allies? I thought for a minute then like an actual si a proper country had um, joined with them. Didn't I have Milan? Oh, they want gold. Give a gift. You are friends. Don't you tell me how much I need to become allies? 29. 
<laughs> I could be really, really... Like, the thousand is virtually the best money because you're getting, you know, an extra ten more for the same amount of money. But... 250, they're mine. Let's close that down. You come up onto that hill. There's Bucharest. I'm doing a bad job of exploring the continent. See, they've got lots of space. We got put on a continent with four people. So we got the most crushed up space. And yet I still managed to spread my empire out to a stupid extent. Ooh, just go and take it. Yay, 25 gold. Come on, some of the city-states must have wanted that doing. Uh, how long till you border pop? Wait, you're going to border pop and take the crappy... Um, two iron. Get the gems. I really hate how it picks what tiles to take. I just think it's dumb. Take the minor victory, please. Hopefully they'll come and attack me next. If not, we can always heal up. Cooney's production, Moscow. 15 production when building mounted units. Each source of... Oh, horses, sheep, and cattle give one extra... I didn't know that did that. Well, we've got two horses... There's no sheep or cattle, but yeah, so basically that's one maintenance for two production. Do it. I actually think they're uh, giving buildings more now, and that's good. Although I'd make the buildings worth less and have specific buildings for sheep and everyone, everything individually. This is a game that I'd find easier to, in my head... Picture how I would make a the mod, how I would balance the mod. Uh, because it's sort of very... Something like EU3 or Crusader Kings 2. At least in the file structure underneath, there's lots of... Overlapping and this bit is here, it also has to do with this, that and the other. Whereas Civ, it is very simple, this is the unit. This is the unit stats. But that's because of the way... The European Universals and uh, Crusader, the Paradox games work. They, you know, there is lots of overlap. Up on the hill here. Oh, we've almost uh, met up with the people to the north that we also found. You finish your shir shirkus? Shirkus, I'm not able to talk properly. Um, in that case... Yeah, it's going to cost money, but two food and you do have deer, wheat, or bananas. You have none of them. The stable app is actually better for you. Oh, you got one horse. You don't have anything else. Build the aqueduct, actually. Um, actually, go back. Could I purchase the aqueduct? Nowhere near. Uh, build it then, but unfortunately you're going to miss out on this pop. Which is a bit annoying. In two turns, what are you going to get? A random crappy tile. Take the cows! Oh no, that's too far away. Take this one. Definitely take that one. It's near the enemy. Let's so return to the map. Unit in his orders. A minor victory. But minor victories add up. Um, come on to this hill. We found a natural wonder. Yay! Another mountain. Is it just me? Or, yeah, mountains are big. I wouldn't necessarily call them all natural freaking wonders. I'm guessing that bear encampment isn't there anymore near Zanzibar. It better not be. So we've got a trade route going right over it. We're keeping ahead of everyone else, just, but we're not gaining on Portugal. Which is a little bit La annoying. France t'offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. 
Well, apparently I'm French, according to some of the people in the Twitch chat, so yes, let's work together. Don't I sound French to you, everyone? I'm really confused as to how far behind the stream can get sometimes. Yeah, I don't get... I can understand the latency between us, but how it seems to stack up the longer you're streaming... The further back the people who are watching I seem find to be. the great thing in this world is not so much where we stand, as in what direction we are moving. Yes, another trade route. And I have money to buy one, actually. So I'm probably going to do that. Um, where are you? You're heading south, so yeah, let's come over onto this mountain instead. Ooh, meet somebody new. Wine and jewelry. Clothes? Good. Uh, being that we've got that guy down there, actually, you come up north and we'll search that way a bit round. Go north of Ben build some gems. Do I have any any spares yet on luxury resources? Doesn't tell me there, does it? Um, well, does anyone else have any spare luxury resources? You have lots of cotton. I think I already traded for cotton, though. You have crabs. Let's let's try for cotton, just in case. What's going on, weirdo? That's fine. Goodbye, mate. Um, Gonna have to do this quickly because he's now got a ship defending him. That's a range ship, I believe. Next turn. Actually, that's one thing Gods and Kings brought in which I did like the range and melee ships because wait a minute that was a feature in Sifor. France t'offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. You want an exceptional proposition. What do you give me for this? La France t'offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. Um how about it was 5 to per turn wasn't it? The 30 turns so that's 150. Let's see, five, yeah, 15, 150. And you're just gonna give me 50. So you, you were saying like something like 200 straight up? Looks good to you. How about 225? Obviously, not your marble as well, but I just want that to update. 240. Oh, you only have 225. Um, one goal per turn. La France t'offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. So basically, I got for 30 over time, I lost 27. Now I'll take the money up front, mate. Fine, I'll accept that. Back. Um, actually, Frenchie, I still want to talk to you. I want to make another deal. And you wonder why you was lonely in chat there, Alex. It's because I'm not letting anyone see what's going on. Oh, cup of tea was lovely. Oh, I was typing numbers, yes. We have a great engineer. We have a great artist. Oh, I was hoping for a great scientist as well, just to round all them off. Um, I think you're getting very close to the top there. What can a great engineer do? Ooh, lots of extra production on the hill could be nice. Oh, we could hurry a wonder. Is there any wonders we want to hurry? No. Uh, so that's probably what we're going to do. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll look at that into the next episode. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.